Hi, this is Nick Lowry at Wind Song Dojo in Oklahoma City, and I'm here to talk today a little bit about the 23 kata and just have a little sort of introductory remarks about it. The 23 kata was a, uh, a, is a kata that was developed by my teacher uh, Carl Geis in Houston, Texas, and he rolled it out uh, around uh, 2000 into the 2001 era. Uh, it is an uh, adaptation uh, of variations of uh, the forms that come from Tomiki's own work in Junana Hankata, the 17, that include uh, an elaboration of the ideas that happen in that 17 kata. The, the ideas particularly dealing with the Rinzoku or the, uh, the chains of techniques. And so in, the, in Tomiki's work in the 17, you have this uh, elaboration of, of con contingent conditions. And so um, from, from the very get-go, if you're on the inside of the arm, you're in Shomanate. If you're on the outside of the arm, you're in Agamiate. If you're above the arm, as you close with the man, you're in Gyakugamiate. If your arm is slipping under as you close with the man, you're in Gaidenate. If you slip past him or he slips past you, you're in a Shiroate. So you have all these contingencies built in, and you have a chaining set. You have, uh, you have things like uh, Oshitoshi, the first uh, elbow technique, that as they resist or as, as movement continues or, or they outrun you, turns into Uragaishi. You have the forms of uh, hiki hiki taoshi with the elbow turned out that uh, if they pull away from that, then it, it leads very naturally into the Udahaneri form. And so you have these, uh, these conditions of one technique failing, turning into the next. Uh, that's already present. When you look at uh, what Mr. Geist did with the, uh, with the 23, it's an elaboration or an expansion on that same set of ideas. And so, for instance, in the, uh, in the elbow techniques, what you see is a, uh, a, a uh, already there's the Oshitoshi that turns into Uragaish, and there's the hiki taoshi that turns into Urahaneri. But what Carl did was add the form that goes from the, uh, from the Urugaish into the hiki uh, taoshi. And so it, it links them all together in, in one long series. Uh, above and beyond that, when you get to the end of the kata and you start looking at the, the techniques that arise out of uh, uh, Shionagi coming to Mayatoshi and to Sumiyotoshi, the, the addition of the second hand in the face, the, the shomanate form along with the uh, sumiyotoshi form, uh, presents itself with a, a large body of, of contingent ideas that creep in there and are, are mostly what accounts for the extra techniques. Beyond just adding the techniques to the, uh, to the kata, beyond just uh, tacking on some other ideas, um, you have this overall sea change of ideas that goes on in the, the kata work itself. Uh, in the 23, the expectation is to be working with single hands at the moment of engagement rather than uh, double hand positions. The idea is to continue into a, a Rimi Nagi followed immediately by a Tenkan uh, action. So a Rimi Tenkan becomes a big feature of this kata. Uh, it takes on a constant movement characteristic rather than the sort of stop-go staccato action that becomes more typical in the earlier 17 work. Um, there is a large emphasis on hand changing and moving from one uh, gripping condition to a different gripping condition on the fly uh, as a response to the failure conditions. There are uh, uh, fairly extensive ideas of, of moving into uh, of these bifurcating ideas that, uh, that you have one failure that can lead to a, a larger number of branches. So rather than one technique always going to another, you have one technique that may go to this or that or the other. <laughs> and so depending on how it's playing out, you find a, a larger sort of bifurcation going on. And so these are all very significant qualities of difference in, uh, in Carl Geis's expression of the, uh, the 23 kata that he found uh, to be useful towards uh, training people into Toshu Randori and, uh, and elaborating on the earlier ideas that he had inherited from his teacher, Mr. Kenji Tomiki Sensei. So um, that's about all I will say about the 23. It's by no means a better kata. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's different. It embodies a different set of uh, emphasis and uh, points in a slightly different direction towards technical ideas or what uh, what is considered uh, central and important in terms of technical ideas. So I wouldn't say that it's better or that it transcends or or, uh, or has any sort of way of, 
of displacing the earlier 17 work. And I, I really feel pretty confident in saying that it's probably really wise to study both, to, to have a really strong grounding in the uh, functional 17 that uh, constitutes the basis of uh, the early work of Mr. Tomiki and uh, what Fugaku Kai was working with for the first uh, 30 years of its existence, <laughs> and then also to, uh, to, uh, to branch in to these more, uh, more interesting ideas that, uh, that came off of Mr. Geis's own insights with regard to uh, the 23. And so they're both quite useful, they're both distinct, they're both different, and uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't think of putting one above the other or, uh, or making one better than the other. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments or would like to uh, converse with me on these matters or yell at me or uh, pick a fight with me, whatever you like, it's perfectly fine and uh, be happy to uh, converse with you. You can reach me at nick at windsongdojo by email. That's uh, N-I-C-K at windsongdojo in Oklahoma City. And I'd be happy to, uh, to visit with you. Uh, feel free. Uh, thank you and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.